Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and if you recently started noticing issues with your iPhone, Apple will now allow you to test some of the hardware components of your iPhone on your own for free. You can test things such as the display, touch on the display, pixels, speakers, maybe if they're crackling, face ID, camera quality, and more. So I wanted to show you how to do this step by step and maybe save you a trip to the Apple store or from calling them and waiting on hold so you can diagnose this on your own before you give them a call since they'll probably run you through many of these steps anyway. Now, the first thing you'll need is the latest version of iOS. In fact, Apple says you'll need iOS 17 or later, and you cannot be on a beta version of iOS. So they don't support that, but it's pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. The next thing you'll need is two devices with access to Wi-Fi or cellular and a web browser. The reason for that is if we test one device, say this iPhone 15 plus, we need the other device, the 15 pro max to sort of look at the diagnostics and run those. I'll show you that in a moment. You'll also need your charge cable and an AC adapter or to plug it into some sort of power source, such as a computer, like a Mac or more. Now, the first thing we need to do is turn off the phone. So we'll go ahead and press and hold the power sleep wake button, or we can just do volume up, volume down and bring us up to the slide to power off option. Once we do that, Apple says, give it about 30 seconds and then we'll wait for that. And then what we'll do is we'll press and hold the volume buttons, volume up and volume down at the same time. Then we plug in power. So we'll go ahead and plug in power here, give it a moment. And when we see the Apple logo, we can let go of the volume buttons. So keep holding. You see the Apple logo, let go. And then this will take a moment to boot up and we'll get into self diagnostics. So we'll give it just a moment here to boot up and I'll do this in real time so you can see how long it takes. So again, you'll need iOS 17. If you have an older device with iOS 16, this won't work, but you'll have the option in iOS 17 devices. So again, it's taking a moment to boot up, keep it connected to power. Don't do anything else. And now we have diagnostics and repair. You'll see it says diagnostics allow Apple to identify potential hardware and software issues with this device to complete a repair. A system configuration step may be required. Now what we want to do is start a session. So we'll start a session. Then we need to connect it to our Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will connect to Apple support. Now on the other device, what we need to do is go to a website. I'll link it in the description, but it's getsupport.apple.com slash self dash service dash diagnostics. You'll see it here where we'll go in and tap continue. We'll tap continue, select iPhone. Then we'll enter the serial number from the other device. We can enter that here. And in order to see the serial number, just tap the eye in the bottom, right? Once you have that in place, tap start session, give it a moment and it will connect to the iPhone. Now you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions on the iPhone you're diagnosing and you'll see it says diagnostics and repair. So again, give it just a moment. Once you're connected, if you scroll down, you'll have an option for choose a diagnostic suite. And then we have options for mobile resource inspector, audio output, display pixel anomalies, as well as multi-touch face ID and camera image quality. We can also end the session altogether. Now let's go ahead and test the mobile resource inspector. We'll tap begin diagnostic. It'll give a moment, say pending, and then you can view progress on the device. So we'll give it just a moment here where it says initiating. You'll see it started the test here on the 15 plus give it a moment and it walks through everything that it needs to test. Once it's complete, it will say diagnostic suite complete and give you a status of what it actually checked. Everything from Apple pay to sensors to system, Wi-Fi, cellular RF and wireless charging. So you can continue end this or just print the results or choose another diagnostic suite. So then we could start something such as audio output. What it actually plays a bunch of tones. We'll tap begin diagnostic and it will play a bunch of tones that allow you to hear whether or not the speakers crackle, whether or not they can play certain frequencies. So you'll see here it's getting ready on the 15 plus and it does take a moment to sort of initialize everything. And now it says remove any case or cover and ensure that audio parts are free from dust and debris, disconnect any connected accessories and place the device on a flat surface with the display facing up. Don't move or cover the device while testing is in progress. If we scroll down here, we can tap continue and then we'll begin to actually test this. Now it says ready to begin and it has a gyro sensor test first. We can tap continue and give it a moment. So now it's testing the audio. So 
So it tested a bunch of tones from lower pitch all the way up to high pitch. And it says, did the audio play correctly through the bottom speaker? If you tap yes, it will continue. If not, then it will bring you to different steps. But again, it will test through the top speaker now. So again, it says, did the audio play correctly through the receiver? We'll tap yes. And many of you are concerned about the quality of the top speaker on your 15 Pro and Pro Max, so you could test it this way. And then there's another test here where it says audio system test. We'll tap continue. After playing through a bunch of tones, it will give you the results. And in this case, you'll see audio, sensors, software, and system all check out. So each one of these will help you determine whether or not you have a hardware related problem with your device. So if you think maybe the top speaker's crackling or you installed an update and Face ID is not working, you could test this and test camera image quality and other things as well. Now, if you want to see a history of your test, tap the three dots in the upper right. You can actually see the history of what was just run. So we've got our audio output and mobile resource inspector. So you can't really tap on those, but you can see that you ran them. And if you want to exit this or just end testing and then reboot your device, you can do that. So when you're all done, just either tap those three dots or you can press and hold the power sleep wake button, tap end testing, it disconnects, says it's complete. And then you're stuck again at this page, tap the three dots. You'll see again history. Now to get out of this, press and hold the power sleep wake button and you can go to Wi-Fi settings, shut down or exit. If we exit, it says, are you sure you want to exit diagnostics and repair? We'll tap exit again and it brings us out of that. Then we can get back to actually using the phone. So it may take a moment to reboot or exit altogether. You may have to boot your phone back up, but then you can get out of the testing and you're ready to go. So once your device reboots, you can bring that information with you, give it to Apple, contact them over the phone and get some sort of idea if you have an issue or not. These are the same sort of diagnostics they'll run in the store on many of the different devices. Of course, they can perform more in the store, but those will allow you to at least check the basics and make sure all of the components within your iPhones are working properly. Hopefully this helped you out and let me know if you tried this out. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.